All of our schools at the Waterloo Catholic District School Board work towards the vision where all students experience success and have a valued place in their classroom, their school, and the broader community. At the heart of our board improvement plan is knowing the learner through assessment. By knowing our learners, educators can respond through effective instruction and can document improvements in student learning by monitoring their progress. Educators in our board utilize the Encompass Teacher Portal tool to access important achievement information for all students in their class. The data that is revealed in the Encompass Teacher Portal comes from a robust data warehouse. I will now navigate the Teacher Portal to highlight some of the most frequently viewed pages for our board. From the educator and principal's perspective, Having a data warehouse allows the end user to access the data they need quickly from a single data source. This allows educators to spend less time hunting and gathering for information and more time programming for and meeting the needs of students. For example, educators can access historic report card data, large-scale assessment outcomes, as well as real-time gradebook achievement all from within the class profile or an individual student profile page. In addition to achievement data, educators can also access important information about students, such as contact information and medical details, which is updated on a daily basis from our board's student information system. Educators are also using this tool to communicate with other educators and parents, to document examples of student learning, as well as monitor a student's progress on a daily basis. As a researcher, having a data warehouse also allows me to complete sophisticated analytics quickly and accurately using the same data source that educators are using every day. Encompass for Success has partnered with IBM to create a solution where the data flows from the robust data warehouse into Cognos 11, which is then accessible in Watson Analytics. Bringing this type of large data set into Watson Analytics allows me to make data discoveries quickly and accurately. To make a data discovery, you simply select the data and ask Watson Analytics a question using your own words. In this example, I'm asking how many students pass the literacy test. Once you've posed your question, Watson Analytics provides a variety of options from which you can choose to visualize your data. Within the visualization, you can make changes to the way the data is displayed and can pull in other fields into the visualization to dig deeper into the data set. As a researcher, completing this task used to be extremely laborious and time consuming as we simply did not have the resources to generate this type of visualization in a moment's time. We're also using Watson Analytics to test current models that our board is using to identify students who are most likely to be unsuccessful on the literacy test. Our board has historically used a Canadian grade seven large scale assessment to predict grade 10 literacy assessment outcome. In this visualization, we can quickly confirm that our past model of predicting student literacy outcome based on this grade seven assessment does have some validity. As a researcher, it's important to identify any significant relationships between assessments and communicate these relationships to educators to ensure that our programming decisions for students are truly evidence-based. As well, we can easily use Watson Analytics to test other school-based practices that are based on past experience or perhaps belief. In this example, it is believed that students have a better literacy outcome in grade 10 if their grade 9 and 10 English courses are scheduled close together. Conversely, it is believed that a less favorable outcome occurs when students are scheduled these courses farther apart. Visualizing this data set across different cohorts of students and then changing the visualization from counts to proportions of students reveals that the data does not support our past belief in many of past cohort years. Based on the data, literacy outcomes for students are optimal when their English courses are scheduled farther apart. Using Watson Analytics in this way ensures that, again, 
Our programming practices are always evidence-based. When predicting an outcome like graduation, educational research can help school boards identify early predictors for specific outcomes of students. However, the reality is that school and board variations exist from what is communicated in the literature. Watson Analytics allows our board to tailor the educational research for our environment to ensure that we are optimizing the best outcomes for our students. In this visualization, rather than asking what the relationship is between variables, I've asked Watson Analytics to tell me what the statistically significant drivers are considering all of the variables in the data set. In this analysis, it displays a list of all the significant drivers in a spiral chart view. Oftentimes, the drivers, or combination of drivers, identify those indicators that we already know exist, but can also uncover drivers that we would have never expected to exist in our data set. The closer the driver is to the center of the spiral chart, the more confidence we can have with using this driver and its relationship to a desired outcome. Knowing what drivers exist identifies the indicators that schools and school board leaders should pay close attention to when monitoring and implementing our board improvement plan. We can also ask Watson Analytics to develop a predictive model using all of the data provided from our data warehouse to generate a set of rules to predict a specific outcome. In this example, I have asked Watson Analytics to predict the literacy outcome. It provides two different views. In this first view, the predictive model generates a set of rules that will group students together with a similar achievement profile. We can view these sets of rules looking at either an unsuccessful or successful outcome of the literacy assessment. Within these groups of students, the predictive model reveals both the count as well as the proportion of students that met the literacy outcome. In the next view, you will see the same set of rules and proportions of students who met a particular literacy outcome. However, it's displayed in a tree diagram. As a researcher, we can use these sets of rules to identify groups of students with similar profiles that have had similar outcomes in the past. We can use the trends from past cohorts of students to help us create accurate predictive models for current groups of students. Creating predictive models using Watson Analytics allows schools and the school board to become more precise in identifying groups of students that are likely to be in risk and to target resources and programs to meet the learning needs for these groups of students. Although the visualizations and predictive models in Watson Analytics help inform decisions made at the board and school levels, we can optimize outcomes for students when we apply and communicate these predictive models to educators in the Encompass Teacher Portal. Our board communicates these groups of students to all educators using student tracking groups in the Encompass Teacher Portal. And although our board uses Watson Analytics to identify the drivers that are predictive, it is the rich data sets that are revealed in the Encompass Teacher Portal that allows educators to truly know their learners through assessment and to differentiate and target programming appropriate for individual student learning needs.